just wanted to make this uh, this big project with a concept behind it. Always wanted to do it. I'm very happy this worked out with, with the whole team, everybody who worked with me on this. of the songs which everybody likes, which fans like, um, which we like and make a new song out of it with some happy melodies, some good feel melodies and um, make it good for the summer because it always worked and we all like it. On the beach it's a very classic 80s song. I always liked it. Uh, it's from Chris Ria. It's a beautiful, beautiful song that uh, reminds you of the summer, summer feelings. And uh, I made this remake. And there was a, another remake a few years ago, a trance remake from it. So I had this friend of mine, a really good guitarist. And um, I took him over to the studio. And, uh, some recording. Very melodic track. It uh, lives out of this harmonies from this one melody. And uh, the first time I played it, I knew this is it. And uh, this is uh, for everyone. There's a little. A little superstitious we're all so the first thing if, if you see if you go to if you go to a shop if you want to buy shoes first pair of shoes you, sh you see you should buy them you know and if you look around you you won't find anything better than it so sometimes it's just the best to take the first and uh, that's the little superstitious we all probably are The difference between the studio work and the DJing is mainly that uh, the studio work is uh, you're really very uh, you're lonely, you're on your own, you're, um, it's your opinion and you have to know what you're doing, if it's good or not. And if you're out in the world, except for the, for the traveling, which either you like it or you don't, um, if you're in the club, and you're playing in front of those people, you get the direct reaction from them, if they like it or not. Um, and that's uh, it's very nice to have to have this for for yourself. You basically, you have this this song. You produce the song in the studio, but it's it's only finished when you actually play it in a club. You have the reaction. You have the people there. And that's when you can say, I'm, I'm done. Legends is a cover from the movie Legends of the Fall with Brad Pitt. We're all fans, aren't we? And uh, it's from James Warner. It's a very good accompanist from all his movies. From, it was also the accompanist from the Celtic of, of Scotland. I really love this kind of style to put it into the progressive house to make those breaks. You are an up costot suit. One of the biggest singers in the house scene, and it was a big honor to work with her to and uh, she has a great voice. And again, with the song, we try to make the cross over to, to the radio stations. Um, uh, we also try to do something special. 
special with the melodies. We put it through, we put a guitar through a filter and made the melody out of this. Along the Road is a featuring with uh, Civil Servants. It's, uh, the voice is Karen Gross. She's one part of the, of the duo of uh, Civil Servants. Uh, she's uh, working with her brother, it's Jack Henry, and they're out on Silver Music. Uh, I play a lot of songs from them all the time. It's a good label, they make good music. And uh, I really liked her voice. She's a uh, rather sweet. Fits very well with those thick elements, and it makes the song very, very special. And you get into the melody very quickly. For the future, hopefully, I'll travel around the world. I spread my music all over the place. I hope the album will sell well and uh, that people really like it. We always have some uh, chill out tracks on Dinka compilations. So this one is Campfire, um, which has uh, the structure of the song is the guitar line and everything else built around it and uh, it's a really very chilled out drag it's not very usual for Dinka but it turned out nice The Campfire is a chill out track we all uh, Renegade uh, I don't know if you know the, the movie, it's about this one guy which is uh, different from all the others. So it's this track with this uh, Chicago beat and uh, it will remind you uh, to 70s maybe some, some tracks you heard back in the days and uh, it's made out of a cinnamon. stations to play it to make the, the bridge from the progressive house to to pop to mainstream music and uh, the song if you listen to it you will you will catch the melody it's very catchy it's a very good voice but we still have the Dinka elements in it so you will still know that it's a Dinka track well, that was probably um, the one in Israel. I was uh, in Israel actually already a few times. And uh, then I got this comment on Facebook from a furious fan saying, Why are you going to, to this country? They're, uh, enemy and uh, that was really a special uh, special thing to me because for me music that's uh, boundless it's without religion it's without you know it's without a side it's just music it's for everybody it's uh, 
and I couldn't really understand why they're putting me in this uh, in this position to to be on one side. It's actually an ice cream here in Switzerland. I don't know if you know it. Uh, but about the song, it's an uh, arpeggio uh, melody. Uh, it's not like the usual melody. Uh, it's something special. It's uh, something recognizable. Uh, always when you hear the song, you will know which song it is. And uh, it just—I wanted to do this a long time ago, and it just needed the right to be the right, right place at the right time. It's a very jazzy track with some improvised melodies and uh, we try to put it together with the progressive house it sounds good with these jazzy melodies and the progressive together and uh, still to fit on the album and uh, to go with the others. idea of Dinka to get cultures together, to, to mix cultures together from all around the world. Um, this time it was the Celtic bagpipe with the Arabic elements. And uh, I mean there are so many different cultures around the planet. I've been traveling a lot, I've seen it. And um, it's a little space to come together, but uh, most people won't. They're uh, making a big gap between cultures, between uh, religions, and uh, it's just uh, uh, a shame. This whole uh, process was uh, over three months for this album, and um, it was very different. I mean, sometimes you start a song and it works from the beginning, and uh, you got it within a few days. Sometimes you restart and restart over and over again because it just doesn't feel right, doesn't sound right. Great Barry Reef is a, a reef in Australia. It's very, very beautiful. Um, if you Google it, you get all the pictures from there. Of course, it's much, it's even, even a uh, even nicer if you're there on the spot. So uh, if you get to, get to dive there, you're very lucky because uh, then you see how beautiful it really is. It's also been called one of the seven wonders of the world in nature, and it reminded me of the song. for all the people you meet, no matter what culture, no matter what religion, no matter what color. it a little bit different on typical to, to all the rest and uh, yes it's a very dreamy track it uh, tells of the sun.